The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Minor flooding caused problems in numerous areas earlier today and even left several families wondering where they'll sleep tonight. Heavy rains settled in on the area this morning and continued over several hours. Small stream flooding and stopped up drains caused some headaches and travel difficulties, such as this in Pikeville, in many areas. Our, our drainage systems work pretty good. It's just when we get a heavy hitter, when we get a lot of rain at one time, that tends to push the debris down. And, and when I say debris, it could be tree limbs, uh, you know, leaves, different things, anything that could stop up a drain. According to the National Weather Service, between two and four inches of rain fell this morning and this afternoon in some areas of the region. No major damage was reported in the county of Pike, but a mudslide on Kentucky Avenue in the city of Pikeville flooded several apartments. One resident said she lost everything in the downstairs portion of her apartment. Um, I was actually in the house and I just heard stuff falling and I just ran outside to see and was like, oh, there's a slide and then came back out here and the pop was all clogged up and I got flooded again. Everything is going on the bottom. Washer, dryer, computer, toys, TVs, everything. At Cowpen, a single vehicle accident nearly had a tragic ending when an SUV ran off the road and nearly into a swollen creek. A passerby helped the driver out of the vehicle and kept her vehicle from going into the creek before emergency crews arrived. The area's minor floodwaters receded as the rains diminished as the afternoon progressed, but weather-related concerns, including slides like the one in Pikeville, remain. Uh, hopefully we can get this thing stabilized quick, get these displaced families back home. Uh, that, that, that's our main goal. With the forecast over the next three or four days, you know, the possibilities are still there. We could experience some more mudslides or even more flash flooding later on. From Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.